Tech Talk, Creative Commons, and GPL. Recently I did a video on software licenses and I talked about uh, different types of licenses, whether it's an end user license agreement or a distribution license, and a lot of you are probably familiar with the more common licenses such as the GPL2, GPL3, BSD, Apache, MIT license, and then you may also be familiar with the Creative Commons license, which usually applies more to uh, artistic things, music, video, uh, photos, paintings, that sort of thing. So how do these correspond when it comes to GPL? Let's say you're creating a piece of software, a video game and you want to use some art in your video game and your video game you want to release, release under the GPL. Does the license match up? Can you use the Creative, license, Creative Commons license with the GPL? Well, there's different versions of the Creative Commons license and some are compatible with GPL and others are not. Now, does your art have to be compatible with a GPL license if your software is on a GPL license? This is a very gray area in some aspect. Um, the way it's pretty much worded, which is unclear to me when I read it, I wish I, I should have brought up the exact wording of it, but basically, if your software depends on that art to run properly, then it needs to be released under the GPL or a compatible license. Uh, and the example they give is your program has a button and that button is a picture and so the program will work without that picture, then the picture needs to be released again under the GPL or a GPL compatible license if you're releasing your software under the GPL license. It's, but to me that's kind of confusing because, well, what if the image I'm using is not, but it can easily be replaced with any image. It, it, any image can be put in there. I don't know. See, and that's where it's unclear to me, and maybe one of my viewers knows better than I do. Now, uh, just about a year ago, I was at the uh, uh, FOSSACON, the Free and Open Source uh, Software Conference, here in uh, Florida, in Orlando, back in 2014. And uh, I talked to some people who knew a little bit more about this. They gave me, they told me to contact the uh, Free Software Foundation, so I did. And, after a while I got a response back which is very unclear still um, and their big concern when you're asking people them questions like this they're, they're, their concern is that you're trying to circumvent the license which was not what I was trying to do on, at all I was trying to understand it better my example was a game like Doom now uh, the original Doom by id Software uh, has been released under the GPL code so you have the game program under the GPL but the level design, the music, and the imagery, all the art portions of that game are still under a proprietary license, meaning that you can download the game and you can get the demo files for the game and play it, um, but you still have to pay if you want to play the full game. Now there are projects out there like Freedom, which has spent years redoing all the arts and levels and music to make the game completely free, both in the software aspect and the media aspect. But my question is, how can the original Doom game be released under the GPL if the game media files are still under a proprietary license? That seems like a conflict, because I can't play the game, the software's no good to me without the levels, music, and sound. And yes, nowadays we have replacement with Free Doom, but originally we didn't. Uh, and I never really got an answer for that. But going back the, to the Creative Commons license, and as I said, there's different versions of Creative Commons license. Some are compatible with the GPL and some are not. Uh, and if you go to uh, the GPL website, the Free Software Foundation, and read about that, they suggest other licenses when it comes to artwork. They, they really say they don't take a stance when it comes to media, artwork, and, the, and freedom. Um, except for when it's incorporated with software. And basically, when it comes to the Creative Commons license, you can't say it's not for commercial use or that um, you're not allowed to modify it. So basically, you need to use a Creative Commons license that allows for both commercial and non-commercial use, and it needs to be a share alike, meaning that you're allowing other people to make modifications to the artwork. And at that point, it's now compatible with the GPL. So there's a lot of gray area there as far as I'm concerned from what I've heard. Again, maybe some of my viewers know a little bit more than I do. You can comment 
in the comments below. Let me know what you think. Um, I love the Creative Commons license. I usually release most of my stuff under a Creative Commons share alike uh, for commercial and non-commercial use. Um, so it's not really affecting me, but there are times where I like making little video games and I'm not the best for making art for video games or so it's like so I go out there and I find something under Creative Commons license that says I can share it um, and it says non-commercial use and I'm not using it for commercial use but technically according to the Free Software Foundation it sounds like I'm not supposed to use that because it conflicts with the GPL because you because with the GPL you can uh, use the software for commercial use so it's a very gray area I thought I'd talk about it a little bit I don't know if I've uh, confused you guys or if I clarified some things basically uh, I hopefully it's clear on what they said but exactly what that means uh, I I wish there was more clarification at least for me again if you know of something that explains it better please sure to comment below and uh, if you enjoyed this video let me know uh, give it a thumbs up like it share it comment uh, and uh, as always visit my website filmsbychris.com that's Chris the K there should be a link in the description and as always I hope that you have a great day